so now let us talk about what are the roles in the workspace in power bi so what are workspace we have seen that so workspace are the places to collaborate with your colleagues and create the collections of your dashboard reports data sets and the page needed reports so we have seen like what does workspace mean so workspace is a collection of your reports dashboards data sets all that collection in one container or one folder that is your workspace so once you have created a workspace you have to give the access suppose i want to share this report i want to share this dashboard i want to share this data set with my colleagues with my friends so how can i do that so here you have an option called access so i would like to show you what are the different access for this workspace so once you have created an workspace you need to give an access so there are four types of accesses you can give one is admin second is member third is contributor fourth is viewer very very important uh, like when you create a workspace you have to set up the access also i'll give you a very simple analogy when you are uh, like working on the workspace you can imagine that if you create a whatsapp group okay you have created a whatsapp group so once you create a whatsapp group you keep on adding a people so similarly uh, we have created an uh, like a workspace and in that workspace you keep on adding the people so whom you are adding so depending upon the requirement so i can give you a simple analogy so here i am creating a workspace suppose if i am creating a workspace for the sales people i will definitely add all the persons of the sales here if you are creating a group and if you are uh, like creating a group for family so you will add all your family members in this and if you want to feel and if you want to make one or two your siblings or some your sister or brother to admin like you can make him admin as you have created the group so you will have the highest authority then you can give an admin to any of your family member similarly in workspace you can give uh, that obviously you will have the highest authority for this workspace you can set up someone as an admin also like in whatsapp we have only admin and only viewer but in power bi service in a workspace you have four types so i hope you understood this a very simple analogy to remember this so we have an admin we have a member we have a contributor and we have a viewer so obviously admin has the highest authority he can do everything he can add a new members he can delete a report he can remove the people anything they want same like what we do in whatsapp so there are few uh, like less features for members obviously less for contributor and very very less for the viewers so viewer can only view the reports or dashboards so if you just scroll down i'll be giving you the link of this and you can see workspace roles admin has the highest contribute highest uh, features he can do everything what he can do he can delete the workspace he can add or remove the people he can allow the contributor to update the app and so on member leaving these three he has all the capabilities when you're talking about contributor he got all the capabilities from here and when you talk about the viewer viewer can only view and interact with the items and he can read the data that is stored in the workspace that's it he cannot create any report any any data set he cannot publish a new report he cannot create edit delete he cannot do anything so this is how the workspace is given the access so let me show you how we can do that so go to access so i have created a workspace i have multiple reports and dashboards in this so you have to give a email address and you select them as a admin as a member as a contributor or as a viewer as i am the admin you can select any person which is inside your organization you cannot take any person which is outside your organization because this power bi account is only for the organization my organization so you can take only organization email address to give the access if i add my personal email address you can see that it gives the error that these email address are invalid or it is duplicate you cannot 
add any of the email addresses which is not a part of your organization so i cannot do it now so just i am telling you that there are four ways how you can give the access to your workspace so this was all about the access of your workspace or you can call it as a roles in the workspace in power bi service